guys and welcome to tech design uh, in the last tutorial we have discussed on view creation wizard so in this tutorial we will discuss on base view base view is very important when we are uh, working on nx drawing so in which the this is the first view that we are going to create so let me go into uh, drafting workbench control shift d will take you to drafting workbench so let me go to okay yeah so we are going into drafting so this is the drafting and i'm just going to create a new file new sheet here so once you enter into a new sheet as you can see here we have a view creation wizard let us click cancel for that and is you can see here this is the base view so base view uh, we will you can able to create either a top view or a front view or any kind of view uh, or you can list it here as you can see any kind of view where uh, depending on your requirement you can create so this will become a face view phase of you know um, the parent view of uh, your drawing so uh, as you can see here the placement placement is uh, you know always inferred because since they, we don't have any dependent views here and uh, you can select whether you want a top view or a front view as you can see here if you select a right view it will show right view and uh, back back side view so i will keep it as a front view as you can see front view and also you can see here uh, suppose you have selected a front view and if your front view is not normal so in that case what you can do is you can just go to orient view tool and here you can see orient view tool and you can place it uh, the way you want so i will just show you how how we can this can be very useful so first of all you just need to select a normal uh, you know direction so my normal direction will be always this and now x axis so x axis what i will do is i will just select this x axis okay and i'll just reverse it uh, to make it in this direction so now i will just click okay so as soon as you click okay as you can see our x axis is along uh, you know uh, the 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 edge we have selected so along that edge uh, we have an x axis so in the in this way uh, we can able to select uh, any kind of you know uh, a vector as an x axis see for example if i select this i'll just select the other one so let me keep it as like this and now i'll just select this space so now you can see here uh, this has become a now x axis so i'll just reverse it so as you can see this is orientation now so i'll just click okay and now we have uh, this in a front view so like this if you want in any direction in any way you can just orient it along the uh, depending on your requirement you just need to provide a normal direction normal direction is the one which you are viewing uh, direction and the x direction so along which x direction you want to place the view so you can just click okay this is very important guys when you are have you know a very complicated model in order to show in the you know um drawing so now we have here uh, you know hidden components so suppose uh, you have a big assembly as you can see here this is an assembly we have around six you know components so now uh, you can see here the hidden components so hidden components are nothing but uh, you just need to hide uh, any component suppose if you want to hide anything say for example i'll just delete this so now this is a complete assembly so if you want to hide any component see uh, if you want to hide this in a view you can just select that and it will come here and it will be listed here and if you want to show it again you can just you know remove this from hidden components so it will be shown in this view so this is also very important when you are working on a huge assembly and if you want to show any you know fasteners which are hidden inside and in that case if you want to hide any components so you can just you know go to base view and in a hidden component section you can just select that and the, that component inside this assembly will be hidden in this view so this is how it works guys uh, so so for example mm, i'll just place this and now what i'll do is i'll just go to and edit view section so in this edit what i'll do is i'll just go to hidden components and uh, i'll just hide this and i'll click okay and now we need to update this so let me update this so as soon as you update as you can see here the whatever that hidden component will be uh, gone so you don't see that component again so this is how it works guys uh, i think you understand how the base view uh, works so if you have any questions you can just uh, um, comment in the section below so i will try to on please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys